going to read a book from my special red bag from Raising a Reader. It's called How Long? Wacky Ways to Compare Length. The author is Jessica Gunderson. She wrote the book and Igor Sinkovic drew all the pictures. He's the illustrator. Do you know what wacky ways to compare length means? Let's break it down to get some clues. What does wacky mean? It means silly or crazy or weird. And when you compare something, that means you're looking at how it is the same or different from something else. This book is comparing how long different things are. When we measure how long something is, we call that its length. Let's use the picture to help us understand a little bit better. What are the boy and the shark pointing at? Yeah, they're each pointing to one of their teeth. They're comparing the lengths of their teeth. And swimming with a shark to do this is definitely a wacky way to compare lengths. So that must be what this book is all about. Let's turn the page to see what other lengths we're going to compare. How long is a ship or a snake that slithers is either as long as the Mississippi River, a shark's tooth, a dino, long gone. Look inside to see how long. What do you see here? It's a very large green elephant with a very long trunk. Look closely at the elephant's trunk. What are those little yellow things lined up on it? They're peanuts. Can you guess why someone put peanuts on the elephant's trunk? Remember what the title of the book was? They're measuring how long an elephant's trunk is using peanuts. That's wacky. And it turns out that this elephant's trunk was as long as 42 peanuts. Now look at this field. See the ball and the uniform that the player is wearing? What kind of sport is played on this field? It's a football field. Now, what did they use to compare the length of the field? These silly looking things with big noses along the side of the field are singing sandwiches. And this football field is 960 sandwiches long. Oh, this is a familiar page. Where do you remember seeing this picture? It's the same one we saw on the cover of the book. Can you guess how long a shark's tooth is using a person's tooth to measure it? Three pointy human teeth, it's the truth, are nearly the length of one great white shark tooth. What are all of these kids doing? It looks like they're riding their skateboards on the back of this animal. What kind of animal is this? It's a dinosaur. This dinosaur is called an Apatosaurus, and he's very long. How many skateboarders fit on its back? 30. Does that seem like a lot or a little to you? Well, to count to 30, I would need to use all of my 10 fingers plus my 10 toes and your 10 fingers too. I think 30 is a lot of kids for the Apatosaurus to have on his back. What do you think? Now we're comparing how many little red licorice sticks like this one that he's holding, you need to put together to be as long as one peacock feather. Let's count the little red sticks on one of that bird's fake feathers. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven yummy licorice sticks stuck together equal the same length of one peacock feather. How long is a rocket ride to the moon? It takes three days. And how long would it take for a car to drive all the way to the moon? 153 days. Which way would you choose to get to the moon? The quicker way by rocket 
or the longer way by car. What's going on here? It looks like this python ate a bunch of rats. Ew! The scientist is going to measure how long the snake is by counting the rats inside his belly. That's wacky. So how many rats does it take to make the length of this great big snake? 13. Here we have a really long cruise ship, super long. That fish better get out of the way quickly. This ship is so long, they needed 170 queen-size mattresses to measure it from front to back. What kind of bird is this standing on the top of the mountain? It's an eagle. And what are those green things taped to its wings? They're dollar bills. It turns out that when an eagle spreads its wings so wide, they're the length of $13 bills side by side. And now, what's the last thing we're going to measure? It's a really long bridge. What color is this bridge? It's red. This special red bridge is called the Golden Gate Bridge and you can find it in California. What kind of trucks are riding on the bridge? I'll give you a hint. They're long red fire trucks that have big ladders. and They're called ladder trucks. When we compare the length of the bridge using these trucks, we learn that the Golden Gate Bridge from shore to shore equals the length of 180 ladder trucks and no more. So how long, you wonder, till we reach the end? It's here. This book is done, my friend. If you want to keep having fun learning how to measure things, look for these other books at your local library. Thanks for reading with me and measuring. Mm -hmm.